Hi guys, so this is just going to be a little tutorial to go over the Manoli Motion Cell Activator and go into a little bit more detail about how it works. Oh my god, I did not just refer to myself in the third person, that is weird. Let's get started. Okay, so here are my three different cell activators that I'm going to be using. I got my Arctic White, my Electric Yellow, and my Cosmic Black. Now. I'm using these colors as cell activators because they are more dense than the colors that I'm going to be swiping over. Cell activator only works when it is more dense than the rest of the colors. Okay, now these are all mixed with Australian Floetrol. And Australian Floetrol is great because it helps to break the surface tension of the other paints that are mixed with American Floetrol. So I have all these paints right here lying around that have been lying around from previous paintings and I know these colors are less dense than my cell activators and that's the only way it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to be using all three of my cell activators in one swipe. So I'm going to use this right here to swipe with. Now, whenever you swipe, you want to use something that is angled right there. So you don't want to use, you know, something like this where it's straight because it's going to be hard to get that angle because you want all the paints to layer. You want the cell activator to layer on top of the rest of the paints. And it's hard to do when you have something like this. All right, so, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one straight straight swipe and I'm going to use all three colors okay so let's start with the white now these have been sitting here since yesterday so I want to give them a good shake okay one four ounce bottle should last me through several paintings okay, and I'm just gonna put you don't want too much you just want thin layers okay and if you want more solid lines in your lacing and cells, then put a thicker layer on, but you really don't need much. Okay. Here's my black. And this is electric yellow. Look at that cool color combination right there. I like that. Black, white, and yellow. I might just do a painting with just those colors. Okay. All right, so when swiping, okay, this, these are my cell activators right here. They are more dense than the rest of the paint. This is what's gonna cause cells and, uh, and lacing effects, okay? Now, you can go like that right there. It's not just gonna drip off, you know, so don't be scared to just settle it on there nice and slow, okay? Now, take, sometimes it takes a little bit for the cells to pop up, so if they don't pop up right away, don't let that scare you. They will pop up. And, and adding heat always helps. These here are going to continue to pop up and you can almost tell like which cell activator is the most dense. Looks to me like the, the white and the yellow have about an equal de density. I think the yellow might be a little bit more dense than the white and the black has the least amount of density but you also see just such a cool contrast of all the colors. Okay so now let's move on to blooms. Okay so this is obviously after layering, you know, the base paint down. Okay, I'm going to do 
one big bloom, uh, about right there. This is in no particular order. And so now I'm gonna actually layer all three of my cell activators on here. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the least dense one, which is the black. Okay, and then we'll go to yellow. Here is the final result with the swipe technique. And you can see the difference between the three colors. There's the white and the yellow and the black. Turned out pretty cool. And here is the final result with the bloom technique. I gotta say, that turned out pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions for me, please let me know. Until next time, bye!